Hello, Alexa Hughes, um, SPU Women's Soccer. Alexa, team coming off a great week, uh, two road wins. Uh, your thoughts on last week's action? Yeah, it was great. Um, it was good to get the two wins away, and I think we're just peaking at the right time. Western Oregon had not lost a conference game at home down there in Monmouth. Uh, tough to play at WOU Field. You came away with a 1-0 win. You had five saves in that game. Uh, just talk about that performance. Uh, yeah, we. it's kind of nerve-wracking playing on a small field and grass. So um, it was great. Um, we came in with a lot of confidence playing on grass um, on Thursday. So um, we were just comfortable and in our good element. <laughs> Tell me, what's going through a goalkeeper's mind in a 1-0 game? Or how often are you looking at the clock, <laughs> wanting the time? Well, what's going through your mind there in a tense situation like that? Um, a lot of the times, I'm just talking to the back line, like, stay focused and stay calm and just stay tight. And um, I think we did such a good job. The back four just um, really came out and stayed focused. And yeah. Let's talk about that defense. Uh, you obviously is a keeper, but the defense also takes some credit, uh, allowing less than one goal a game, which is very good. Um, keeps your team in every game you're, you're in so yeah, far. Um, Why is that defense so effective? Uh, I think it's because uh, we have a lot of good chemistry, and um, we stay connected, and we communicate a lot, and we pride ourselves in doing that. So I think we've actually done a way better job going through the season. Well, your team now is undefeated in your last five games, have won three straight. Do you feel like uh, the team's playing their best soccer of the season? Uh, yeah, and we're putting away opportunities, and it's just great um, with confidence and going into later games in the season that are very important. So, You mentioned putting away opportunities. There was a stretch there a couple weeks ago where the team was out shooting <laughs> people like crazy but weren't finishing. So a lot of tight games, a lot of one-goal games. How much added pressure does that put on you? Um, it's a little bit of pressure. Um, it's great to know that we do have opportunities, though, that we can put away. So at least, you know, we're not having, if we're not having opportunities, it's way frustrating. But um, I know my team can put it away, so it's great. What do you think is your uh, biggest asset as a goalkeeper? Um, probably communication and just trying to have a calm presence in the back and just on the field because I can see the whole game and um, yeah so communicating forward and yeah. Great. Uh, two of your teammates, uh, forwards uh, Hannah Husers and actually midfielder Isabel Farrell, are ranked 1-2 in the conference in scoring. You get to practice against them every day. Uh, what makes them so special? Um, just the their mindset of they score every time they have the ball. So um, it's actually great training for me because they're the best of the conference. So, um, yeah, it's good practice. <laughs> Is that something you appreciate that you get to face them during the week, but on game day they are wearing the same uniform? Yes, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, I would not like that player if they um, weren't on my team, but so thankful that they are. <laughs> Well, your Falcons are in second place, uh, trailing uh, Western Washington by six. So a big game Thursday up in Bellingham. Um, a win could could cut their lead in half. Your thoughts on that matchup? In a, in a you know the game in Seattle was a real tight game. Yeah, um, we're so excited and just the confidence coming through our team and just I think we got them. We <laughs> um, uh, yeah we almost had them last game, so I think we got them on Thursday. You think you got? Um, they have a new venue, Harrington Field, a uh, new field that you've not played at before. What do you do as a goalkeeper when you show up to a, a new field just to, to get a feel for the surroundings? Um, yeah, the biggest part is how the ball rolls. So through balls and um, just balls hit over top, are you need to gauge when to come out and when not to. And I've heard their field is a lot like our new field, so that'll be good. And because um, we're used to that. So. And speaking of uh, the new Interbase Stadium turf, uh, it plays differently mm -hmm. than, than last year's turf. It was resurfaced in July. H how does that play differently? Um, yeah, the ball dies a lot more, um, a lot more uh, rubber. So um, trying to gauge the through balls, like I said, are, have been difficult, but um, once you got the hang of it, it's good. Well, we're getting into the key part of the season, nearing the postseason, um, but the season's quickly going, uh, running its course. 
after the season, uh, you're a senior this year. What, uh, first off, what, uh, where do you stand in terms of graduation, and what are your future plans? Yeah, so um, I will be done in December, um, done with soccer and school, so that's a big change. But um, I've actually decided to, I'm applying to nursing school. So I'll graduate in uh, public health and then go on to nursing school from there. Great, fantastic. Well, thank you very much for your time. Congratulations on the wins last week, and thank you. good luck this week.